Secret versus Alliance. Yeah, the whole lane's around, and it works really well for them. Could be something they look to do again here as FNG's actually stuck. Oh. He's, he's stuck is between it, the creeps. They keep blocking is, him. He's is stuck. he still stuck? He's, he's stuck. He tried to tango his way up, but he got the tree that was like at an angle. Oh! He Ag got the stun to lift the creep up and walk <laughs> through it because he lifted it. He might still be very dead here. He might still be dead. The purge. Yep. They've got Another him. purge. Oh, oh and, he and used a the salve. salve. See how aggressive they want to play into him. They're, they've got, got the ult. The They're just going to commit, get that attack speed up, and S4, he's going to go down. It's a double kill for Matthew in that top lane as it only gets better and better. At the same time, down bottom, Hans Ken and Nico Baby were able to take down Zai. With that life still in the buff, uh, buff off the tether of Hans Ken. Uh, they probably, they'll probably want to do it soon. Mid, S4. I got the raw into the finger. He's dead. He, he just can't show himself in a lane. Oh. It's, it's it. too scary. But the stun. And it's going to be TP's coming in. He's still alive. He's, he's, he's got an invis. He's able to step out to the side. He turns with the rod straight away onto S4. Matsu moves in. As they're focusing down the bristle, they'll get him. S4 dies. Broken by the toxin and burst down by Yapsor's finger. And the chase will continue here for Secret as they move up to the high ground over to FNG. Now what can Alliance do to slow this? There we go. 11 minutes 49 faster than the patch fastest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, of course, not knowing about this early progression, but... You know, still a, a very impressive timing there from Matu. FNG. Nico Baby has to just buy the S and Y to be able to fight, because they, they have to fight here or they just lose the game. Secrets is bringing the battle to them. They're poking, oh, but no. S4. He's trying to get in on this, but he's the, the power of the Viper. He can't even poke. The poison's too strong. As they're just That's losing the barracks. Secret. They can't even, they have exorcism and they can't even walk up and fight. Oh, that's dead IO. FNG's really waiting for an opportunity on the side here. I don't, I don't know if that opportunity is going to come. I don't know if it's going to come. Uh-oh. Oh, S4. He's in. Nice stun. They're, they're keeping him a little safe with the tether. He's getting low and he's gone. The Absol's able to burst him with a finger. They'll move themselves out of the cooldown. Zai does get stunned before the roar comes out. We're going to see Troll now turn. Matsu with the life steal. He's standing his ground. He's looking towards FNG. Now he turns over towards him. Pops the battle trance. Three dead. Look at the buffs. And yeah, yeah they'll FNG. call it. Oh they're my cleaning God. up again, secret. See if, uh, if Alliance are able to give it a better shot here in game two. Seeing top lane, the, the farm. Ooh, FNG. They, well, finally able to break the, the peace that we've had here. Now Yapstar is going to make the connection over. Maybe tank a hit or two from the tower. Keep that catapult alive. But Nisha. Oh. Hit the stun, but he's just, uh, now Limp's hit the six. Limp is six. He's hit the six. He's, he's able to get in and burst him. Very nice. And now over to Ward Yapsa as well. Yapsa does have a roll available. Uh, but Limp's got a remnant. Yapsa's going to get dragged back into the Illuminate. Not actually able to find uh, to, to find the opportunity to roll out. I guess he felt that if he did go for the roll, the remnant would always have the time to be set out and stop him. Really shaking up Nisha's early game with those two back-to-back -back deaths. I don't think he expected Hanskin or the Coddle in either one of those situations. Really good stuff coming out from Limp and the boys. His bottom, S4. He's getting body blocked a lot. Fury swipes. They're adding up. Oh, and he's going to go down. Matsu. Can, can FNG get this? He's going to have the blast. He he's going to be able to find it. FNG cleans up. 2k gold lead now for Alliance. They're benefiting more from this downtime. Oh, and Hans Ken. Zai. There's the Ether Lens coming into play straight up. Hex in the finger. They burst down. Zai, he's gone. Over to the side. Matu will jump in onto S4, but he pops the Ravage. ravage. Gets the three of them. There'll be a buyback from Zai. Matu trying to chase down S4, but Hans Ken slowing Matu down with the mana drain. They'll lose Nico Baby the once. Another great stun from Hans Ken out to the two of the limp. Jumps back in. Gets the remnant grab back onto Yapsel. Yapsel's gone. Yeah, Nico, baby. Nico Baby, he needs help. Is he going to get it? He isn't. The coil holds him in place, Alliance will lose their Wraith kick. Okay. I mean, we'll, we'll see. You know, Secret, do they, do they try and fight this tier two or they just sort of let Alliance have this? Do they have the BKB? I need? They do have the BKB. They I got think it. fight this. Matsu's teeping in. He's going to start off the action. Jumps in, starts to come in onto Nico Baby's eyes, botsing over. They'll turn with the stun onto Matsu to hold him back, Alliance. They're already starting to reset. They got the smoke up on the two of them. Secret are trying to chase him on this die. He's going to be fine. S4 is going to jump in. He's able to get the Ravage actually on the four no, of them. Four, five. A beautiful setup. The follow stuns their onto Zai. They got the damage to take him down. They do. They take down Zai. The Hex controlling Matu. Matu is trying to commit to get the kill on Hanskin and he'll find it. They'll get the line now. Matu turning over towards S4. They'll pick up another secret. 
As Alliance, they're trying to desperately scramble themselves away from this. The secret of chasing. Puppy comes in with a TP. He's turning over towards Nico, baby. Yaps was able to roll and kick him back. I'll take him down the once. Stop exorcism going. Is there anything Alliance could do to save him? It doesn't look like it. As he's trapped in the sprout. Matsu able to get the swipes built up. Nico, baby, can he toggle his way out of this one? He cannot. As the ghost will finish him off. Secret coming. The tier two tower does go down. Oh, he's, he's a little split from the team. But he is a tough one to go play. on. But not for Matu. They're going to try anyway. They're in onto him. He's silenced. He's heading over back to the boards the safety of the rest of his team. But he, he's trapped in the sprout. And S4 is going to go down. They've got oh, no, no fight to fight now. Far. They've got to get out of there. The Dream Coil will miss. Nico, baby, turns over towards Nisha. They're going to try and jump in and burst for Nisha. They're able to they do him. So. They take down the Death Prophet 100 to 0. But Matu, he's in onto Hanskin. Hanskin goes down. A buyback comes out from Nisha as Matu's coming in with the BKB. He's trying to chase S4. S4. S4 pulled back for this. He's been silenced. Can he get out to the side, he's able to get the Ravage off as they look to turn on to Matu. Matu still has the Enrage going, but the Will-O-Wisp drags him back in. Matu's down, and now Alliance, they've got the catch on to Zai. The Impale from Hansken locks down Zai. They're turning it around. Nisha, he pulled back for this one, but Alliance, they're ready to surround him and bring him out of the game. Hex out from Hansken, the Siphons, they're buying him some time, but it isn't enough. As the crit comes in, Alliance will take the team fight. This time they put the this time they really oh, put the on. focus on Nisha. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's, he's going for this puppy. He's going to come in and help out, but the Will O Wisp is back up. It's back up. It's ready for another round. They might lose FNG, but they're going to be able to get two kills for this in return. As Puppy and Yaps are both losing their lives there for that effort onto FNG. And it's exactly as you say, well, with the Shackray, that Will O Wisp. Very careful around it. Limp's going to check things out in the pit, see what the status is. Zai. Coil. Matu's coming over. He's coming in with the BKP. He's looking towards FNG, but FNG's giving a bit of a ring around the rose. He's running around. FNG's up to the high ground. They're chasing him from there. We'll find him. But at the same time, Limb's been given the time to take that puppy. S4's in the ravage. He gets the three of them. They jump in onto Matu. Matu silence. He can't get the enrage off in time. As Matu goes down, it's a triple kill for Limb. They clean it up. Nisha's got the ghost out, but it doesn't matter. Running into the finger. Alliance. They've done it again. Another clean fight from them as they take four down. Puppy will buy back, but there's nothing he can do to turn this around. As Alliance, they're into the pit. And this Roche, it should be theirs unless Yapso can come in with a steal. He's trying to. He's getting vision with that remnant right now. The stone remnant with the oh, edge guard. They're on well. vision, but they're on him. Hansken hunts him down. That ward still paying dividends here on the high ground. Beautiful play there. S4 with the reset, getting the ravage on everybody as soon as the BKBs end. Limp with the follow up silences onto the Ursa. The rage comes out as he's dying. Under pressure to, to see what they're able to pull out now. As you know, down 10k. Elias with the they're lead already. On a lot right now. The catch there from the trees. They're opening with a hex on Tanisha. He's just got to pop the BKB and TP out of here. Die's going to be left behind. Eon Disc will buy him some safety, popping the coil to stop them from chasing, but Limp's still in. Closing the gap, Yules into the remnant. They'll find themselves the catch on Zai. Is, yeah, Hanske getting a decent amount of stacks up this game on his finger. Already five stacks up here. He's almost level 18 as well. Yeah, he's done He's done a lot of work this game. Just He's actually just targeting Zai, making him quite miserable. Limp. Looking to pressure Matu even here with these arcane Maybe runes. He can see what he can poke out of Matu here. As S4 is over, there is a Ravage available. Matu's got to really think about what he needs to commit with the BKB or an Enrage. And Enrage, at least, is going to be popped uh, as they allow him to jump up to the high ground. And Limp's getting in aggressive here under the tier threes. They're moving on the puppet. Nico, baby, he's into the base. Yeah, he just jumps straight in and lands himself on top of Yapso. Limp, he's poking Limp up more. right towards the fountain. They're dragging him, Poppy. They're diving in. They're killing Secret within their own base. Limp is feeling himself. He's feeling the power. Secondary or third arcane rune that he had. Able to chase forward beautifully. Love his itemization this game too. The Yules, the Ags, the Shivas to counteract all this healing that's coming out. And Alliance, they might have just claimed themselves a Rax, if not just uh, the least. game here. This is going to be a lot. Puppy down for 50, Absol. Still down for 15. Fast, it all just collapses onto Secret. 15,000 gold lead. Two Rax is down now. Bull for this next final push from Alliance Secret. Without their BKBs, can they hold? Matsu is trying to have a bit of a go. On to Nico, baby, here. Only gets him down to half HP. Now the Willow Wisp is out. Matsu is in trouble. He's fingered. He's out of the game. 
He's out of the game for 80 with the official yeah, that jumping out towards Nisha Lim. He's diving in deep. Best has got the follow-up ravage to keep Nisha stunned in position. As that's both course down, it's game over. GG is called Alliance. Hit back with a solid punch here in game two. Pretty good to be a morph player in these situations and some limited to burst damage that's really coming out. Uh, they've, they've shifted to lane things to be able to fit in that morph, having S4 on the offlane Monkey King. As see first, Ooh, but maybe go down here. Oh, S4 is able to help out a little bit there with the battle list. Not able to help enough though. As they're able to still get in on top of FNG, they make sure the Nisha gets the oh. first blood. But maybe he can at least deny the rune or something. But nope, oh. Limp's actually just going to go for the kill on Yapsa. He is. He's, he's got FNG swinging over. And Limp's going to be able to do something about Yapsa hanging around for this. Remnant hits the mark as well. So Limp, he's able to get away with that. So to make sure you're not caught out by the quick movements of the opponent across the map. Spot him. And try and press four. They've got the backup of Nisha here as they'll commit onto him. No, and they can recall the Tide. Like, let's say the fight does kick off, Puppy's gonna recall Tide, so oh, Alliance have to be fast with their move if they make it. They'll, they'll get the catch on Puppy. And they're gonna drop the ults here. I mean, Puppy's dead, it. but I, I don't think Secret care about that whatsoever. As now they look to Tide, s still sticking around, trying to stand his ground in the Wukong's command. Matu, he's already starting to have a poke at S4. S4 will be able to get the Jingu up, but they're gonna have the burst and control. Nisha swings back over. S4's gone. To play around around like away from the tide hunter around your information so whenever they do see heroes split up with wards or if they do see the tide hunter with the wards they can look for plays but this is this is what we're saying you know secret they're gonna set up and they're gonna force the hand of alliance around this roche pit there we go and this is into the ravage that alliance has to walk into they're gonna need some type of blessing from the how beautiful they take this spells and it's gonna be so Let's hard say. here eyes on s4 as he's the ready. one first they're able to get the setup onto s4 they jump over into the grab. There'll be a bit of a defensive player from Anscan with the disruption trying to save S4. He's able to get the Wukong's command down. But Not Nisha, it, Nisha's actually jumping in. He's trying to fight deep into the ult. He's going to get punished for this. Nisha, Nisha will fall. A okay. big over commitment there from Nisha, jumping in, feeling that he had the burst damage alone to take down S4. And that was not the, the case by far. Uh, as that's Nisha out of this fight for 30. The apps are still chilling over here, just waiting to stop maybe him at least when he does jump in they're all set up on mid they see huntkin for a second and he lays out the poison gives up his position and secret collapse on it on him immediately there's a, the dd rune as well down bottom and secret themselves they know that you know alliance is here as they they themselves can't really head into the pit and, and start hitting it and here he's gonna look for some information he's walking in with the blur a bit scared they put well, down, down the ward. They as jump. soon as they get the vision they jump immediately onto s4 that's the best target they can get at the start of the fights. He's a big team fight for Alliance. Zai. He's ready to set it up. On to Hanskin. Hanskin. They're going to get taken out. It's two quick kills for Secret. And Nisha, he's got the setup for more Yules. Into the Remnant. Lim. Getting burst. They're holding back a little bit. They're doing Oh, hook up the BKB. It doesn't even matter. BKB ain't going to do anything anyway. With uh, crits like that, as Matthew just jumps in, cuts off his head. Just so, such a quick move. The swing over, the ward gets placed down, and there's no hesitation. They just instantly jump because they saw the best target. They see the Monkey King, who is he is that team fight for Alliance to bring them together. Mark up from Alliance. Lim Looking to set up Zai still always has the Ravage ready. Alliance really try to really trying to get themselves. Oh, here. we've been in before. before again. The Ravage is out, and straight away the fight starts with a dead Monkey King. S4's down, Matthew's cleaning up the back lines. He takes down Hasuke. Nico Baby will be able to get in and burst down Puppy, but that's it. That's all he's getting. He's not getting anything else out of this as they immediately surround him. It's a triple kill for Matsu. It really just does feel like the Lions can't do much. FNG. Oh, no. Oh, good night. Good night, oh boy. sir. Godlike. Godlike. 26 minutes in, Matu. Back on the, the same form that we saw in the game one drop. Oh, oh, they messed up the shotgun. They messed up the combo. As uh, he's going to be able to pop the BKB and, uh, and start uh -oh. killing them all. As he's in onto Hansken. As, uh, yeah, this, this is getting a little messy. Lance, they're, they're throwing in buybacks. Are, are, are they going to be able to turn it? They're dragging him in with the lasso. They're able to get him down to half HP, but Matt, he's still good to go. He's in on the West Fort. The bashes are there. As that, that was not how it was supposed to go there for Alliance. Oh no, and they get Nico Baby as well. He's going to yeah. be able to retreat. He oh. is not. 
I think it's those desperate moves where you want to just try to get anything you can, you know, get any type of kill, reset the fight as Limp tries it's, to find it's something stuff out on the map, and yeah, well, it's, it's completely over. At least we got an exciting game too, you know. So, you know, kudos we did. Secret for, for giving us that game. What a game three was Secret back to business, as it seems as this game, quite like the first game, seems pretty impossible right now for Alliance. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm so confused. How does Morphling have Aether Remnant? He stole it from the Morph. Or how does Rubik have Aether Remnant? He stole it from the Morphling when he turned into it. Yeah, so you could just. <laughs> this one has. They've just had full control, really. It's like just these ravages, just the threat of their team fight has been too much. The Batrider, it feels like Limp. He had to own the lane. A match is in. He did it, just... He's under tier fours. He's ready to go. He's able to take down Hanskin. He pops the BKB. He's going to look towards Limp. Nico, baby, he's going to stand into the PA. Start. As the age is timed out, but secret they're keeping tabs of that. Matsu starting to back away. Alliance desperately trying to chase. In with the E Blade, but he's off to the side. They're gonna dagger down. Ice Path as well. They're moving in onto Matsu. Can they kill this PA? No. He's jumping away. He's away once more. Over towards Puppy. He goes. As Matsu's out, now they're ready to turn. Woo! Matsu's back in. Ravage out. Etzai is ready to go for more. There's the backup required as they jump in onto S4. A Wukong's command comes immediately to an end. <laughs> as it's getting messy. Into the force staff. Okay, they're, they're trying they're to going Nico in. as well. They're going in deep here under the tier fours. And they've got the control on Nico, baby. Playing around with this morph. He's trying to get back towards his fountain. They're not going to let him. They're not going to let him. As Matsu's in with the bashes, they're calling it. They, they want the pain to end here, Alliance. 